Even before independence was declared, the war had begun in New England. In the wake of Lexington and Concord, women were the first to see the bloodshed and tragedy that would accompany the birth of an independent nation. And they were the first to experience the danger and anxiety of a war waged in their own towns. This is another value of studying women in the American Revolution. You see how despite the claims of glory and bravery, that war is about death and bloodshed. Suddenly, as Hannah Adams learned, no one was safe. British soldiers forced their way into her Cambridge home, put a bayonet to her breast, and threatened to kill her. The romance, or as one New England woman who witnessed the Battle of Bunker Hill part put it, all that pomp and circumstance of war faded quickly, and it faded everywhere the armies went. Over the next eight years, women across the country would confront the perilous demands of this home front war. I have to make another aside. It's so astounding to me that the story of the revolution was taught for so many years as a male experience. It's a home front war. It's fought in people's backyards. It's fought in their towns. It's fought in their villages. You have to picture a woman, she's going out to hang up her laundry and there's a battle going on and she doesn't notice. I mean, surely, either they were all on Valium, uh, or really they must have been involved. Vital supplies quickly dried up, prompting women to use all their ingenuity to replace preservatives, medicines, and, medicines, and even alcoholic drinks. When marching American soldiers lamented the lack of the traditional rum rations that all soldiers were supposed to receive, Women produce a, produced a substitute, brewing corn liquor, which they ladled out from barrels that they placed along the roadside. If you're a marathon runner, you know about the people who stand there with Gatorade and water. These women stood by the side of the road with these great big barrels of corn liquor, and as the men went by, they were encouraged to come and have a, have a drink. Uh, inflation quickly ate up any meager savings these women had, and it prompted many women from every region to write absolutely desperate letters to their husbands, telling of starvation and fears of freezing due to lack of winter firewood. What happened is the British Army and the American Army would confiscate winter supplies that were put away, they would confiscate cattle and, and, and other livestock, in fact, they often took the furniture out of a woman's home and burned it to keep warm in there where they were encamped. And so these women wrote letters to their husband, come home, we're going to starve to death or we're going to freeze to death. Both British and American armies increased their anxiety because of the raids that were waged on their farms. It was also true that wherever the British army went, women were in danger of rape. One woman reported, they stole the very buckles off my shoe. <laughs>